Process modeling and animation has a, has a rich history. We'll go over some of this. I mean, some, so some early animation history was from Edward Mybridge. <clears throat> in uh, 1878. And um, th there's a whole lot of technologies that are related to this. The zoetrope, you may have heard of that. It spins around and provides an, an, an uh, animation. Uh, flip books and uh, the idea of onion skinning from Disney. And you may think of cartoons. So I want to put this within the framework of modeling. What you're looking at is a model of a rider on a horse over time. So it's a temporal model, it's a process model, and it's defined by a lot of adjacent frames. And we know that, again, like uh, in, in English, we read from, from left to right, and the same thing uh, you can do here. You can just start at the top, read from left to right, uh, and then go down and do this, continue the same, left to right, go down, left to right, and so on. So this is a kind of a very basic process model and it's, it's simple in idea. Now, from a technological standpoint, this was uh, quite a feat to be able to, to create a system that would uh, be able to create these photographs and then, which then could be used in order to study the motion of animals and, and, and humans uh, and the idea of a gate. Um, but it's just, it's really an interesting kind of model that um, is early form of, of, of animation history. Uh, here's a, a piece of the Peter Pan storyboard. And again, this is not photography, this is hand drawing, but the idea is a little bit similar. Now you might say, well, it's not quite similar because when we looked at the horse, the disc, for example, the horse's movement from, from one time step to another is very slight compared to something like that where there's a huge difference, right? But I think at the sort of 50,000 foot level, they're doing the same thing, although they are varying the delta time in between events. Now, one of the go-to modeling packages that we use in ATEC is called Maya. Uh, and this is a very nice professional piece of software for doing animation. In this case, you'd be, uh, you'd be animating a human that might be raising their arm, perhaps they'd be waving, they'd perform some other action. The key question is, where are the models in this uh, interface, this software, Maya? Well, certainly there's this model. Right? I mean, there's a model, there's a geometric model of, uh, of a human, and that's a kind of model. But since this talk is about process models, this is your process model down here, otherwise known as your time tracks or your, your, your time editor. But the point here is to note that it is a process model. It is defining a process over time, whereas the end result is what this human does in response to the model which is found at the bottom of the screen. Now you may have maybe recall this if you've uh, watched the other video on on art where we talked about the performing arts and music is the audio people and the musicians use a similar interface a lot of times. They use a track based model just like this. And so you could you could kind of think of a, a very much a similarity between you know animation and music making, or animation and audio design uh, in, in this regard. They use a model that, whose structure is very similar. Now there's other neat things lurking within the Maya model. Uh, oh, sorry, the, the Maya, Maya software. There's a node editor, and the node editor is a model. So the editor shows a picture. This picture is a model of how to uh, 
construct and shade ultimately and materialize that is create a material uh, take an image map and make it into and, 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 and use lighting and so on in order to make something that appears to be a real material so all these diagrammatic uh, editors within Maya are in fact modeling editors uh, where you know you're you, you may be modeling you know different aspects of a scene and this is just another model editor down here this is for shading and this procedural animation um, this thing you see on the right is is in the same family as grasshopper right you're talking about a model down here that's time-based and that when you run the model you know when you put it on a computer you you run it then it will create an animation on the left hand side okay so this is like your geometric model of a fluid over on the left this is your process model on the right of how to create the thing on the left 